All right, we have another weekly, and of course, I'm late to all things like always. Though, before we get started, I have a little code that you should be using inside of Rec Room already, and you already know what to do. In other news, we have our weekly rotation, and we got a new pop-up shop. It came out this Friday, and it's titled Ice Cream Surprise. You guys can go into your watch and see all the items and stuff like that. And we also got a new discounted offers for this week. Of course, what are your guys' thoughts? Now, other than those additions, we have our new pop-up shop that comes with a slide and we have some items as well. As you guys can see, we have some new items here with some new item sets, and some of these actually come with full body avatar pants as well if you're interested. Other than this shop, we also received a new rec center shop, and this is what it's looking like. This is what our community board is looking like for this weekly rotation. Our YouTube and Instagram tabs didn't change, but we have a new featured creator, which is Billy Bob. Featured rooms came out earlier this week, but talking about Billy Bob, we have some news about them. BVR had posted on a story talking about Rec Room flying him out to speak in front of the whole company on the panel, and go on an office tour. We have a vlog coming out in a few days and he's already released a few images and stuff like that of his actual trip. It's pretty cool. And I'm guessing this is the Rec Room staff party that Harry Manlegs was talking about inside his post as well. Harry Manlegs had posted about how he was at a staff party and how he had a few, you know, cool games that were Rec Room themed. They had a puzzle that was themed off the Crimson Colgin quest and they even had a Rec Room Rubik's Cube if you guys are interested. And of course, should Rec Room sell these as merch? I'd buy it just to put it on my desk to be honest, but that's just me. And as you guys can see right behind me, Destiny 2 had moved to this part inside the rec center as well. Now it's about that time. If you've been a long time viewer, you know what I'm talking about. Meme of the week, baby. Now I usually find the funniest rec room themed memes every single week and I share them off to you guys and I found my share of the funniest memes. Now let's roll it. Now I've talked about this inside a short, and it honestly was pretty funny to see it when I saw it the first time, and I, I love Voix, I, I can't believe he clipped it. What are your guys' thoughts? Be sure to let me know. Now I've been getting a lot of DMs about this new bug inside of Rec Room, and basically Rec Room had this little deal where Barbie items were 20% off inside of Rec Room and stuff like that. Now these Barbie items inside the UI, inside the shop UI, have this weird bugged token value. It's super weird, and I've been getting DMs and DMs about this, so I thought of, of course I would talk about it. Uh. Now, recently, we haven't had a whole lot of developer talk, but I do have just a little bit that I would like to share. It's been confirmed that for full-body avatars, work is almost done to make arms fit better, so you won't see the telekinesis effect very often if you're properly measured. So stay tuned. And if you guys aren't aware, we aren't getting an update this week. I talked about that in my last news video and stuff like that, so sad days, sad days. Now, I of course have a few more bugs that I'd like to talk about. Recently, inside of Rec Room, many players have been making these weird facial expressions that they're not meant to be making. Like, for example, some players will like have this frowny face or some players will have like just this weird dot as their mouth before. This player's UI had turned into this, uh, big, big rip. <laughs> and I actually didn't know I had this for news and stuff like that, but it turns out that players have search suggestions now whenever they're searching inside a rec room. I was getting DMs on Discord talking about this box that is like purple and it's talking about S is returning. Uh, no, it's not returning. This is not real at all. This is fake. Now I just got a message talking about new ban UI and stuff like that, so I'm just asking asking inside my video if this is actually a new banner UI or not. Basically, they go into the banner UI that we've already talked about, the new moderation notice banner UI, and then they go and they're able to click on their actual, you know, violation type, which was trolling in this instance. Then they get to see this UI where they get to see their time left, why they were actually banned and who they were associated with, notes about their ban talking about what they did, and even this little message talking about if you feel like this intervention has been made an error, you can contact them for more info on Zendesk.com. I haven't seen the details page before inside the band UI, but of course, be sure to let me know if this has always been a thing. Hey, this popsicle kind of looks like my earrings, doesn't it, huh? Anyways, did you know that I have channel memberships? Now, if you don't know what a channel membership is, it's basically a Patreon. People give me money every single month for perks that they get inside my videos. Now, one of those perks are being shouted out in all of my videos. And of course, this is one of my videos. So let's get to it. A lot of people had recently joined the membership because someone had gifted a lot of memberships inside a past stream recently. So we have a lot of new people. Of course, massive shout out to all these people, which include Alt Rule 2, Mufi, Abby, Young Creator, 
Chazzy VR, Jordan the Wolf YT, Dead Channel, PFG on VR, Hack Classy, Dino Pie, Nat the Pup, Estos Mini, Carl is Gone, Cocky Boy, Turkey, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Ready RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yo, Shiki, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. That's a lot of people now. And I'm honestly not too hyped to be talking about all these people once again. <laughs> we got a whole month of this, people, so of course, get used to it. Anyways, though, I greatly do appreciate that, and if you are a squidling inside my membership, it really does mean a lot to me, and thank you. Now, of course, back to the video. But just one more thing I want to talk about real quick before I end off this video. It's for my anime fans out there. There's been this game that's been in development that's been blowing steam on TikTok recently, and it's Jujutsu Kaisen PvP. If you guys don't already know, it got really popular on TikTok and stuff like that, and people were really salivating all over this game on TikTok. But it's finally out, and here it is, Jujutsu Kaisen PvP, and it's made by Death Strider. Go check it out, I have no association, I'm not getting paid for this FYI, but of course it was just really popular game in development and it's finally out, so you guys should definitely check it out inside of Rec Room now. Of course, I'm not going to play it inside this video right now, but I just wanted to talk about it since it just released because I want to play it on stream and stuff. Anyways though, that's pretty much it for this entire video and that's all the news I wanted to talk about today. Of course, you guys already know I really do appreciate a subscription or even a like on the actual video, it means a lot, and of course if you guys want to see more Rec Room news content, you guys can check out my other videos on that side of the screen. I also just had a recent collab with my best buddy, Renix. We love each other very much, and you guys should totally check that out. But that's pretty much it. And of course... <laughs>